you see this big red box, right? Every six weeks or so, maybe as much as eight weeks, you see this big red box in a YouTube video. Only one company ships one kind of mystery box in this box. You got that right. This is the $250 That Spider-Man Booth Superior V13 comic book mystery box. This is, in my personal opinion, the most premium comic book mystery box on the market that they've sold obviously 13 times. Usually about, what, every six weeks or so, I think, right? Ish, give or take. And I've probably in total have bought 40 of them maybe in total. 30 of them, 40 of them. And I've had some very, very good ones. I've also had some that were pretty bad. But most of the time, they're like at least middle of the road. Get my money back if not make a little bit. You'll get in this usually oversized art prints, sometimes autographed. You can get CGC graded comics. Some of these CGC graded comics are like Bronze Age and Silver Age keys. Mostly like Bronze Age keys. Some some Silver Age, don't get me wrong. There has been some Silver Age in these boxes. And you can get autographed comics from artists such as Stan Lee, Todd McFarlane. Uh, you can get Donny Cates, some Scotty Youngs, and Jim Lee. You can get some pretty big name comic artists autographed comics in this box. So I think you get a total of 10 comic books plus, uh, like what I said, an art print. And sometimes your boxes will be absolutely fantastic. You'll get huge, huge hits. Sometimes your boxes aren't the big winner kind of boxes. You might just get your money back or just get a little bit more. But if these weren't good, I wouldn't buy these every single time, you know? But here we go. We have V13 now, and then the V14 is coming October 12th. So I'm already... I haven't bought any yet, but I'll make sure and probably buy at least three or four of the V14s when they come out. Okay. Let's see. Open this thing up. So we did not get a slab in this. If you had a slab, the box is much bigger. But if you don't get a slab, don't worry. It doesn't mean your box is like poopy. You can still get some pretty big comics raw in these non-slab boxes. First sticker, it says... Run Los Angeles with some bony hands. We have a uh, street level hero LA. Then here is the box with the comics. Then we have a King's Tube. Let me go ahead and pull up this art print. Let's see what it looks like. Looks like we have a Jim Lee from 2008 of Superman. Most of these, the prints, I do not keep them. Because I have so many prints already. I don't have room. So actually pretty decent print. Jim Lee. 2018. It's like that. Will be for sale in my eBay store. Direct link down below in the description box to my eBay store if you want to buy that. First come, first serve. First person that buys it, you'll get it shipped to you. Let's do uh let's do this tube first. It's called the King's Tube. See what goodies might be in here. King's tube. We have. Well, that's neat. It's it's uh, it was folded a little bit too tight and it has creases all through it now though. But it's numbered 79 out of 100. You got all kinds of DC goodness on there. But like I said, it was rolled up too tight. There's creases all along here that can't be fixed. That will hurt value of it. That's pretty cool, though. I see Robin and Joker and Batman. Okay. Penguin. Not bad. Not a whole lot of value, though, I bet. Especially since the the it's creased with, with damage because it was rolled too tightly in this tube. That's okay. Not a big deal. Even not damaged is probably not super, you know, valuable. It was not signed by anybody or anything. Here we go. This is why we buy these. For the comics come on first box magic should be 10 comics in here pull it out so let's see on october 12th at 4 p.m pacific you can actually win free comic books if you buy these uh dm that spider-man booth on instagram with like posts pictures of your unboxing of this 
I can see the back of this comic. It's a Walking Dead comic. But gotta get these things open. There we go. Let's see, split down the middle. Don't look too much. First one. Nice. We have a Thor. This is Thor number six. This is a virgin variant. This is actually a like a street level hero, like that Spider-Man booth exclusive cover. I have the Thor number six with the like the uh, what's called like kind of a trade dress. This one's a virgin variant, so super cool. And this will go straight into my collection. I think the thing sells for like 20, 30 bucks actually. It's a decent start right there, especially since I do collect Thor comics too. Next one, we have a Spider-Man, another Virgin variant. This one is also a Street Level Hero exclusive that they had made. Let's actually see which one this is. The cover looks familiar. I just cannot place which issue this actually is, though. It is Amazing Spider-Man number 47. Unknown comic, Street Level Hero exclusive. Number 47, Spider-Man. Next, we have a Spider-Woman number one, which is another... This is their exclusive again, I think, right? Pretty sure it is. Another one of their exclusives. I have a, actually have a few of these already. 30 bucks, I, I was selling them between like 15 and 20 bucks a piece. So 30 bucks, this is a little bit high. It's worth about half that, a little bit more. Okay, next. We have... Who is this a Venom variant? This is also a Street Level Hero exclusive cover. Let's see which one this goes to. It's Venom number 27, Unknown Comics, Street Level Hero exclusive on the back of it. So this, once again, I think every comic so far in this box has been their own exclusive covers. But most of these I don't have, so I'm actually, I'm fine with that. Uh, of course, if you buy more than one box, you're probably going to have a lot of duplicate covers, it looks like. Here we go. Next one. Oh, this is uh, Venom number 27. 26, 27. This is a Tyler Kirkham cover. We got Noel on the cover. Let's see which one this is. This is actually also is another pretty cool one, which I don't have. Actually, one of the reasons why I did not buy any of their exclusive covers because I knew that I'd get them most of them in these boxes, so I didn't buy any. <laughs> you know, why buy them? I'll, I'll get them. This is another Venom number 27. Their own exclusive, once again. Every one so far has been their own exclusives, which is fine because I don't have any of these yet, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Next, this might be one of the bigger hits in this box. We have, oh, I'll show you first, actually, before I look at it too closely. We have a Walking Dead signed comic. This is Walking Dead number 81, signed by Kirkman. What happened in this comic? I, I can't think what happened in this comic. Actually, let me go ahead and let me see if this comic had anything like massive in it, anything that happened. Give me one second. This is number 81, nothing happened in it of anything of importance. So yeah, this is probably worth like 20, 30 bucks tops, 30 about hours tops, because Kirkman signs a lot of his comics, and this comic's pretty much worth like three, four bucks. So yeah, it's probably worth, let's say like as high as 30 bucks, right, right there. Next one, this is Thor number, oh, this is their own exclusive again. Thor number, is it five? It's, it's, it's like a third printing, I think. Thor number four, okay. It's another, it's second printing, it says. Sure, over here, exclusive, their own exclusive once again. So I have two of these now. I actually had one in their last mystery box, I think it was. Next one, we have a Detective Comics number 1027. Just a Detective Comics book. Nothing too earth shattering. It's their own exclusive once again. Then next we have a Batman Who Laughs number one. I actually already have this cover. Actually, I have a couple of them. Virgin Van. I think this is actually a Torpedo Comics exclusive, I think. Then next, we have some kind of an X-Men. Something. Virgin Variant cover. 
And last one, we have a zombie Wolverine cover with the Amazing Spider-Man 300 kind of like inspired cover there. Let's go ahead, let's see who's exclusive this is. It's Marvel Zombies Resurrection, number one. It's their own exclusive once again. So I think almost every comic in here was their own exclusives, almost every single one. So that's okay, so I actually didn't have most of these. I pulled it back out too far. But uh, yeah, for 250, I mean, I got my value back. I was not wowed by this box. I've got two more to open up still, so hopefully they get a little bit better. I have a hunch I'll be getting duplicates of all these in the other two boxes, which, yeah, it's okay. Just let's hope for something different though in the other two boxes. So you want to see some more of these? Stay tuned because you'll see some more $250 That Spider Man Booth Superior Mystery Boxes.